The Google Pixel tablet has been a long time coming. Since its first mention at the 2022 Google I.O. Annual Developer Conference, Google did not reveal much about its first ever tablet in the subsequent months until this year's I.O. Conference. The good thing is that the Pixel tablet is officially ready. Guess what? It is insane. It comes with amazing software functionalities, exquisite design, high-tech specs, and a lot more. Here's everything we know about the Google Pixel tablet. Price and availability. Being the first of its kind, there is no clue from previous release dates from which we can predict the release date and the price of the Google Pixel tablet. However, the 2023 Google I.O. conference provides an update on when to expect it and how much it will cost. The Pixel tablet will start at a base price of $499, which is quite reasonable to compete with other brands, such as Apple's iPads. However, some see it as a bit overpriced, considering that the 9th and 10th generation iPads still sell for $330 and $450, respectively. But looking at its functionalities, it is fair to say the Pixel tablet is worth the price. Sure. Regarding availability, the tablet has yet to hit stores for sale. It is projected to be available to the public in June 2023. However, you can pre-order yours now. Oh, I have to get one of those. Wondering what it will look like. That's next. Design. The Google Pixel tablet basically looks like every other tablet. That is not to say the Pixel tablet is a carbon copy of the iPad or other tablets. Google adds some design tweaks that will separate it from the lot. For example, it is designed with a charging speaker dock that can turn the tablet into a helpful home device you can use hands-free. The Pixel also comes with three color options, porcelain, hazel, and rose, which also separates it from other brands. Aside from its looks, it comes with rounded edges and an aluminum enclosure textured with a unique nano-ceramic coating for easy grip. Oh, that's nice. Due to the tablet's 11-inch big screen, Google worked closely with the Android team so the apps you love, like YouTube, Spotify, Disney Plus, and more, look better and are easier to browse on the bigger screen. You'll know more about that as we talk about its next specs. Stay with us. You do not want to miss any of our updates about trending smart products. Subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon to stay in touch. What are we gonna do? I've already subscribed. Specs. Samsung, Apple, Amazon, etc. have all established themselves in the tablet world with high quality specs. Google had to get the specs of the Pixel tablet right, and I must say they did a good job. Good. In terms of performance, the Google Pixel tablet comes with a Tensor G2. This is also the first time we're bringing the power of Google Tensor G2 to an all new form factor. And Titan M2 security coprocessor, a 7,020 mAh battery with 15 watts charging capacity both when attached to the dock and when using a USB-C cable. It also features Wi-Fi 6. Bluetooth 5.2, an ultra-wideband chip, a fingerprint scanner, and a USB-C 3.2 Gen 2 port for connectivity. It weighs 493 grams with a 258x169 x 8.1 millimeters dimension and a screen display size of 11 inches. This LCD display has a 1610 aspect ratio, 2560 x 1000, 600 resolution, 60 hertz refresh rate, 500 nits brightness, and supports USI 2.0 stylus. Impressive. The Google Pixel tablet also features a powerful set of cameras. Keep watching to know more. Camera. Good camera quality is not new to the Google Pixel family. The Pixel 7 Pro, for instance, comes with one of the best cameras around knocking heads with Samsung's S23 Plus and iPhone 14 models. The Pixel tablet, on the other hand, does not leave to the standards of the Pixel smartphones, which is quite understandable considering that it's a tablet. Certainly. But it is not that bad anyway. It features an 8 megapixels camera on each side of the slate, with the front-facing shooter offering an Apple-style continuous framing feature that keeps you in the center of the frame even if you move around during video calls. Wow, pretty cool, huh? This feature is, however, limited to the dock setup. 
The camera app also comes with extras such as night sight, long exposure, top shot, and live HER plus previews. For videos, both front and rear cameras of the Pixel tablet shoot with 1080p at 30 frames per second. Charging speaker dock. As I mentioned earlier, the Pixel tablet is designed almost like the Apple iPad. But Google goes a step further to include a charging speaker dock as the differentiating feature among the tons of tablets on the market. The charging speaker dock is arguably the most notable and selling feature of the Pixel tablet. It serves as a charging port for the tablet, offers more powerful speakers than the Pixel tablet's inbuilt ones, and more importantly, turns it into a smart home screen when docked. All you need to do is to place the tablet on the dock, and the tablet will automatically enter hub mode where you can perform different functions with the tablet, such as digital photo frame functionality, the ability to use Google Assistant without unlocking the tablet first, and a home panel for smart home controls. Marcus Brownlee further explains. You see those four pins down at the bottom of the tablet right below that Google logo on the back? Those are power and data pins that line up with these four pins on this dock that's included in the box. Sick. So with the power of magnets, this tablet slaps onto the back and basically becomes a Google Nest Hub Max, more or less. So this is the thing they gave us a teaser of at the last IO, and honestly, it's as awesome as it looks. It works great. There's enough magnets that there's like a pretty firm pressure needed to take the tablet off of the dock, but when you put it back on, it grabs it and holds it firmly in place. And through those pins, it instantly starts charging at 15 watts and connects to the larger speaker inside the dock. So that's upgraded audio over the tablet's built-in speakers. How well do you think the Google Pixel will do in the tablet market? Share your thoughts with us in the comments section below. The Google Pixel tablet will soon hit the markets with all of its amazing features, but you'll have to wait till June to lay your hands on Google's first ever tablet. However, if that seems like a long time to wait, you can go for the Google Pixel 7a. It's been launched already, and it's doing magic. Learn more about it in the next video. See you next time. If you liked it, please don't forget to subscribe below.